Greetings, and uh, welcome to Channel Other Doc. I'm Jim. I use he, him pronouns, and uh, today we are playing Everyone is John. Uh, this is a game in which players, the players are all going to be playing the same character, uh, or at least voices in his head. Um, and uh, so we're going to go around and introduce everybody, say who you are, say who you are and who you're playing. <laughs> we're... Uh, you may note there's a theme. Say so who you are and uh, and uh, what uh, what kind of voice you're playing, and uh, we will uh, start with Brittany. Hello. Hi, I'm Brittany. Um, I am playing John, um, a mischievous aspect of John. Coolness. And uh, let us move around to Levi. Hello. Hello, I am Levi. I use he/him pronouns, and I am playing John. Uh, <laughs> And uh, if the vo this voice were to have a name, it would likely be known as The Driver. Awesome. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> that, that sets off interesting alarm bells in the back of my head, but we'll get there. And uh, now let's move around to Birdie. Hello. Hey, guys. I am Birdie, and I am also John, simultaneously. Uh, my, my version of John is uh, a, an animal lover and a kind-hearted fellow. Excellent. Very cool. This should be this should be a glorious disaster. I, think. <laughs> um, I, I just saw the overlay. And I love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Yes. Strangely enough, everyone picked the same character name. I don't understand what. No. Um, but anyhow. Yeah, we really should have coordinated more beforehand. This know, is really right? awkward. How does this? How does this happen? Um, so, uh, like. Ah, like we do for most games on this channel, uh, we're going to be using the X card, the N card, and the O card. Uh, if we hit something that's crossing a line for one of the players, any of them can type an X in the Zoom video chat or anywhere else, or make an X symbol, and uh, we'll back up and we'll do something else. Uh, if something happens that you're okay having in the game, but you don't want a graphic description of it, uh, type an N in the Zoom chat and we'll fade to black on it or put it behind a veil. Uh, so it'll be there, but we won't go into detail. Uh, finally, if you're in the midst of intense role-playing and you think we might be worried you're really upset out of character, you can put an O in the chat to let us know you're okay and that we're good to keep piling on the drama. Something else we can do is to put an O with a question mark after it uh, when we say or do something and then think, maybe that might have been a little bit too much. Uh, then everyone else can respond and let us know if we're still doing okay. And uh, so uh, we are uh, going to get to this. Um, I have nothing to write with. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, this will be quite interesting then. Um, I'm going to be randomizing a bunch of this uh, because I just there's this there's this little voice inside in the back of my head that tells me to make things as chaotic as possible sometimes, and I have to obey them. Um, so there we are. <laughs> um, so let me see here. Let me make sure I have the the, uh, the 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 book pulled up. I do. Excellent. My God, I did I did a thing correctly. Okay. Um, so you each have. Um, I think what we're, what we're going to do briefly uh, before we continue. Um, let's see. You've each got skills. Actually, no, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh, we won't we won't go over what the skill what, what skills you have and stuff. I think everybody's got all their stuff together uh, for this. Um, I still need to copy and paste some stuff, but I'll do that as we go. Um, but uh, let me see. I got my things. Yeah, on this, uh, uh, the way this works is that they're all going to be vying for control of John. Um, and so uh, the way that works is they they each start with ten willpower points, um, and they b use willpower to bid. They spend willpower. Uh, it, well, well, if they win the bid. Um, so they secretly send a bid to me for how much willpower they're, they're, uh, they, they want to use um, to take control of John. Uh, we do a roll-off, and uh, it's just essentially whoever rolls highest uh, gets, uh, gets control of John for that scene. Uh, John, is, uh, John doesn't really... Um, uh, I, I think the way, the way that we're going to play this is the voices can hear each other. Uh, if you, uh, uh, so so that's, uh, that's a thing. Uh, John also uh, c can potentially be a consciousness that you communicate with if you, uh, for, for information that way, but uh, it's, uh, it, it, by and large, the base consciousness is not very, um, 
not very decisive or understanding of things or just very good at anything at all. Um, there, there is no competence here uh, for, for, this, uh, for the base character. Um, and we just sort of see where this goes. Um, let me see. So uh, for any time you make a skill roll, it's going to be a single d6 roll. Um, that's to John generally needs to roll to do most things. Uh, John is not terribly competent, but you know anything that there's a chance that there might be failure, usually uh, we're going to call for a roll. If you fail the roll, then we have to do another bid for control. Uh, that also happens if John takes damage uh, or if uh, John actually achieves one of uh, his objectives. Uh, which could be uh, one of their objectives. Any of the any of the objectives. Each uh, player has three objectives um, that they're trying to get to, um, and uh, so uh, any of those things can trigger a roll for control. Also, if John falls asleep um, or is otherwise just sort of gets bored, zones out for a few minutes. Basically, in that sense, this is kind of memento the RPG. Uh, <laughs> is uh, that's a thing that can happen, and so you vie for control again when you come back in. Um, so, are, are there any questions about the rules or the game or anything before we uh, before we dive into this thing? Anything? Okay. Are you willing to explain it seventy more times during the game? Because... I am absolutely willing to explain it seventy more times during the game. Excellent. Uh, that is my default way of being: is, is constantly explaining all things over and over again because I have problems. Uh, Fantastic. So... <laughs> So well, here we go. Um, I, it, it feels slightly, I will say, it's, I, I, I made a decision, I said this off camera, uh, that I made a decision to not do music during this because I have no idea what's going to be happening. Uh, but um, I, I, uh, I, I feel slightly naked without music, but we'll, we'll continue. Um, <laughs> also, I was at a con this, this weekend. I didn't have time to put it together. Uh, so that, that was also a thing. Uh, so let's see. Oh, let's see, who's going to, John is waking up, and so I need everyone to make a bid for control, uh, so go ahead and hit your, 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 your secret bid button that I have, I have created, and let me know how much you are bidding. Okay, we have a three-way tie, uh, <laughs> so I need everyone to roll off. Everyone Damn it, we broke it already. <laughs> okay, now Levi and Birdie roll off, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, Levi is uh, in control of John. So, uh, John awakens. Um, you are sitting. Uh, it's it's you, you, first thing is you're 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 in a sitting position. You, things are very kind of uh, a little bit loud and chaotic. You hear a lot of people. Um, you're sort of uh, uh, milling back and forth, um, and uh, as you open your eyes. Uh, you see you're somewhere where that has, it's a big wide room. There are a lot, there are pillars holding it up. Um, and you hear uh, like people on loudspeakers in the back saying things. Um, and you see, uh, you, you see there's, there seems to be uh, uh, this, 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 there's a big sort of clock up fairly high. You think this is a train station? Uh, okay. It looks as though there are probably trains or lines for trains or signs that that point to trains. Um, and uh, so, what do you do? Um, I think uh, John just kind of gets up and uh, just moves his way towards uh, wherever there seems to be some kind of entrance. Okay. As uh, you're standing up, uh, you notice that uh, it's it's a little harder to move your right wrist, and you look down, you realize that there's a handcuff on it. You're handcuffed to a briefcase. Uh, okay. That you have with you. It's one of those combination briefcases. I see. Hmm. Hmm. 
That, that's probably one for future John. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> oh, and something else, another feature that's not in the game, but that I'm going to be doing periodically, uh, is uh, as uh, I'm one of those GMs who occasionally will ask the players to help me with details. Uh, so, uh, and just because this this per version of the game is slightly more evil, uh, or, or at least the way that I'm interpreting it, um, someone who is not currently uh, who is not currently in control of John, what is John wearing? Bathing suit. So, uh, John, you look down, you see apparently you are wearing a bathing suit. Um, is it one of those that uh, it's basically like a swimming trunks type deal, essentially? Oh, no, it's spandex. Spandex. So you're wearing, <laughs> you look down, you're wearing a spandex bathing suit. Um, is it a speedo or is it like a full body thing? Speedo, okay. Okay, so yeah, so typical Tuesday. Uh, yes. And um, again. <laughs> and so you're wearing that, and you're you've got a you've got a you're you're, you're handcuffed to a briefcase. And so sorry, proceed. But what, what was you okay. doing? Okay. Um, I think. Yeah, I think still trying to find uh, some kind of entrance. Ideally, that leads out to a parking lot. Okay. Um. So you get up and you are looking around. Um. And uh, you you see there's uh, yeah there there I, I'm gonna say this station has signage, um, yeah. and uh, so you're starting to kind of people are kind of like looking at you a little bit strangely. Uh, still, you actually had kind of a not a, cr a huge crowd around you, but you had a few as you know, as you're standing up. You see that there are like a few people uh, just sort of just sort of staring at you, um, and uh, just kind of probably wondering why you're dressed like this. Yeah. Just walking along, nothing to see here. That's just uh, just just walking along without uh, without concern. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that um, at this point uh, you're going to see there's someone who's clad uh, mostly in a in a blue vest uh, uh, and uh, and trousers. So it's uh, looks like it's a station security guard. Yeah, they have the other uh. badge is coming up. Um, it's a, uh, um, she, uh, she has, um, is very, she has kind of closely cropped hair as she's coming up. She's carrying a walkie talkie and she looks to you, uh, um, sir, why, yeah. we, you're, uh, we, we, we can't, we, we, we can't have you in here dressed like that. You have to, you have to have shoes and a shirt to be in here, sir. I ride the train. Look. Why I'm playing right uh, rather trying I'm, I'm just playing to make my way out here. I, I just I'm just gonna get out of your hair. Okay, I would like you now. You're going to be making a skill roll to try to uh, convince the security guard that uh, you're not going to be a problem. And, okay. And uh, this does not look like. The, uh, well, uh, do any of your skills come into play? I mean, uh, one of my skills is. Uh, Big somewhere that doesn't belong, but being able to intentionally convince people that he does. Yeah, going into so places maybe that shouldn't look like you belong. So yeah, okay, uh, I'll, I'll let you use that. So this is going Alrighty. to be a, you need a three or better uh, to to pull this off successfully. You got a five. Yep. Um, so the security guard is like, "All right, no funny business. I'm watching you. The exits over there. Get out, please." All right. Come back and ride our trains. You must wear a shirt and shoes. You made that clear. Thank you. That is For some reason, no mention of pants, but you know, that's, uh, these eh. things happen. Um, so yeah, no, you head out, uh, and uh, as you're as you're walking out of the train station, you notice that. Um, let's see. I think because you have uh, you you are dressed this way, I'm not going to use this card uh, mm -hmm. that I have just drawn. Here, let's use this one. Um, so yeah, you actually look like you're uh, in sort of um, as you're coming out. It's probably about uh, it looks like it's afternoon uh, sometime. Uh, there are uh, trees kind of lining the road. Um, you're you're in sort of what looks like the uh, sort of the edge of a city of some kind. Okay. Um, looks, you know, so you've got the, you know, two, three-story buildings, uh, type stuff out here. It's not, uh, not, it's not incredibly well kept, and uh, you see, um, you are very close. Uh, 
uh, to a few different um, places. You think you're you're near a uh, uh, the the nearest place that you can see from here is a uh, is a junkyard. Hmm. Uh. So, uh, you know, just uh, outside outside towards the front of the station. Yeah. 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 Right front of the station. So is the is there a parking lot between um, me and the road, or there is a parking lot between you and the road? All right. Do any of the cars look like a car that is familiar enough to feel like I I I would have driven it here? Um. So this is strangely, I, I, I'm going to say one of those. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel as, as though as you're going out, so you're going out and trying to identify a car, see if any of them feel like they might be your car, uh, just, just sort of looking around. Um, I think I'm actually going to call for another role for this, because this is, uh, All right. this is a good question. Okay. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> You're sort of, sort of uh, fiddling around. You actually, as you reach into, uh, you realize that strangely, somehow, the speedo has a pocket. Mm. Is that like an inside pocket? Yeah, it's an inside. Is it area. a pocket? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> this is a. This is a. This is a PG Twitch stream. Down. <laughs> well, PG thirteen ish. Um, there, there, there is a, there is an inside pocket, and it, uh, you do feel, uh, you were feeling something kind of uh, a little bit, uh, sort of, sort of weird and weird, uh, weird and sharp down there, and so you re reach and you realize there is a, uh, there, there is a uh, car key in there. All right, you're just going to um, remote car key. Yeah, walk around, and if it has like a kind of fob on it, just uh, click the unlock button over and over, just methodically going around. So you, uh, so you are, are, are doing that. Uh, at you, you, so grind, you, you hear sort of off the distance that you hear this, um, uh, from the car and you get a little close, sort of wander back and forth for a few minutes because that's how these, these things happen. And eventually you start zeroing in on, on it. It gets louder. You, you hear the, the ha, ha, ha. And um, as you are approach, you're approaching a vehicle. Um, someone who is not John, please describe John's vehicle for me. It's a smart car. Excellent. All right. So, um, see, I'm imagining something very bubble-looking now uh, as you're as you're uh, as you're saying that because hey, so it's this tiny, this freaking tiny vehicle um, that uh, looks like perhaps it seats two people. Um, is uh, is sitting there this 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 little this wee vehicle um, that finally looks like it's the one that you're uh, that is responding to you. Yeah, just uh, unlock it, get in, then uh, start uh, leaving the parking lot and driving. All right. Um, so the, uh, you get into the car. Um, you put the key in the ignition. Um, so you have the option of attempting to head into town or away from town. Where do you uh, want to go? Probably uh, into town. All right. Um, Just like driving at a speed through the parking lot, then once uh get onto the street, go out. You, uh, as you are doing this, um, as you're pulling out and getting ready to uh, to pull into you know pull into the street, into the stream of traffic, you hear something. You hear. What sounds like a ringtone. It's a little muffled. Hmm. Is, it, is it also in the pocket or is it somewhere in the car? Actually, since this is a smart car, I'm going to kind of assume that you also you hear it throughout the vehicle because it's uh, probably Bluetooth going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to like fumble around looking glove departments in the console or anything. 
Um, so <laughs> I I feel like uh, I feel like you uh, you should roll for this because yes. I'm I'm being uh, I'm 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 going to be slightly evil there again. Uh, so yes, this is uh, uh, an unskilled roll. So unskilled roll. No. Yep. So you need a you need a six. <laughs> Okay. Nope. So that's a five. All right, we've got a bid for control again. Whisper to me your bids. Okay. When we bid, if we aren't the one, if we aren't the ones um, chosen, am I muted? No, no. I and no, you're good. Okay. Um, do we still mark that as uh, lowered no, willpower? No, you only spend it if okay. you win. Okay. Birdie has control of John. Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you are, uh, you're in the, uh, the driver's seat of your car. Okay. Uh, a car. Not sure, maybe it's your car. Hard to know. You're in the driver's seat of a car. It's just uh, about to pull into traffic. And there's a phone ringing that's coming through the car's Bluetooth. Yeah. Uh, I don't care about that phone. Do okay. I have a map? <laughs> um, so you could look around the car to see if there's a map in there somewhere. Okay. Or, I want to find a map. Um, there's also a phone ringing. I don't know. There could be a map on there. Um, okay. So you're... you're I want to... Well, if I, I want to find a map, so if I, let's say I look for the phone so that I can pull up GPS on the phone. I okay. don't actually care about a ringing, but I want the map. <laughs> uh, you look around, it's, uh, I'm not going to make you roll for that. It's in the glove box. Oh, okay. Um, you open the glove compartment and uh, there's a, there's a, there's a smartphone in there. Um, cool. Looks very actually kind of almost pristine. It's funny. Um, and, um. It's, uh, the, uh, the, you can see the name on, that's currently on the screen as it's ringing is, uh, is, uh, um, D-O. D-O. Okay, if it's still ringing, I'll well, answer it. Yeah, I mean, it'll, if you, if you want, if you, you can wait and it'll stop, but it's, uh, it's entirely up to you. No, I'll answer it if it's still ringing. All right. Um, so you answer. Hello. <laughs> Do you have the item? I look down at my arm that still has the thing connected to yeah, it. And I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yes, I, I do have the item. Are you bringing it to the drop point now? No, I'm not. John, we need that item. Yeah, but um, you know I, what's at stake here, John. I do, and I also have something very important I must do. There's it's a lot of nothing is more important than this, this delivery, John. You do understand that. Yeah, you know what's at stake. but uh, and then you can like. Uh, the guy on the phone, is it a guy or, or can I tell? It's actually slightly distorted, uh, okay. but it's pro it sounds kind of like a guy. Okay. Well, to this distorted voice, it hears like someone from five feet away or 10 feet away or something like that is yelling at me. And uh, my skill is ventriloqui vent <laughs> ventriloquism. I can't <laughs> do my skill. It's fine. And um, the the voice that's 10 feet away from me is yelling and it's like, John, get over here. We need you now. This man is dying. <laughs> Excellent. Please, please roll for me. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Just, yeah. Bare minimum what yeah. you needed. All right. Okay. She says, yeah. I have to save a life. I've got to go. And I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, dealt with that. Yeah, um, so now that he's gone, I want to look up uh, a map on the GPS. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, so, you, so you're looking up a map on the GPS. Uh, you, uh, it looks like, so it, it's a, a city comes up. 
Someone who's not John right now, what's the name of the city that comes up? Martino. Martino. I said, I said syllables. Is this... Wait a minute. Okay. For some reason, I thought that way. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Um... I almost said San Guajana, but I would not do that no, to no, John. Don't do that. Don't do that to no, John, please. No. Um, I can't cross the streams. Don't yeah, not 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 that one in particular. Uh so yes, uh so the city of Martino. Um so that uh um I'm gonna I'm gonna say that it's uh it's fairly it's not uh like a, a huge metropolitan city, but it's uh it's like sort of like one down. Um so it's pretty big. I was gonna say sort of like uh well, it's like an almost Atlanta, I will say, um, because my brain defaults to almost Atlanta in a lot of these situations. Um, and uh, so you've got, yeah, so, so you have, uh, there's there's this, um, you're, you're on the kind of the outskirts, according to what you can see here. Uh, so you have the suburbs. Uh, if you go, uh, if you go uh, like east, if you go west, you will go into town where... Uh, there are lots of streets and highways that spaghetti around each other. Well, I want to look for uh, a city park, like a big city park or open green space. All right, that's not too difficult. Um, you find one. It's about uh, it's about uh, five miles away. All right, I'm I'm gonna head that direction. Okay. Uh, so you go into the uh, into the flow of traffic. That's gonna be um, you're driving away from the town center, so I'm not going to call for a, uh, for a roll for that. Um, uh, and um, as you are kind of you're driving down, um, it takes you about uh, about five minutes uh, to, to get there. Um, and uh, as you, uh, you just sort of pull into the park, uh, you see, and it's, it's afternoon, so you've got a few, it, it's uh, sort of a modest sized park you've got a few um uh you've got a, a few families out there are people uh uh there are a few people walking their their various animals um and uh <laughs> they're various mostly dog shaped animals um <laughs> and um, <laughs> mostly dog shaped yes. i like it yeah. yeah okay i know pets real good <laughs> um and um, <laughs> They uh, yeah so they're 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 out hanging around. There's various frisbee throwing going on. There is the uh, there is potential for volleyball as there is a net, but there is no one around it. Okay. Well, I want to go um, to where the like the little walking trail where the people are kind of walking their various dog shaped creatures. Yes. And I want to <laughs> I want to. Um, try to make a little bit of a a whiny dog sound close to me and um kind of sit on the ground and uh wait and see if any of them look at me and if they do i'm gonna I, i'm i'm very good at public speaking and i think that that includes speaking to dogs and so I'm as soon as one of them looks at me, I'm like, "Come here, boy! Come here! Come here! Come here!" <laughs> this is, it could be a, even a combination of public speaking and ventriloquism in a way. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, go ahead and roll, roll on your uh, your skill for that, please. Okay. Oh, oh dear! Ah, we've got oh, a bid no. for control as you're whistling for for a dog. They hate me. Um, and uh, so yes, everyone, please send me your bids. <laughs> Okay, um, Brittany is now in control of John. Um, so let me tell you what's happening as you are vying for control because the thing's about to happen. Um, let me make sure I've, I've I'm, I'm keeping track here. Good, good. All right. Um, so Brittany, John, you uh, you're sort of like uh, there's a certain sort of swap as, as you realize that. Um, you hear this, uh, you see someone sort of, uh, you're, you're sitting in a park, 
uh, off uh, on a uh, uh, on a walking trail, and you see a couple of uh, uh, you see a, yeah, you see a couple of, uh, you see a couple coming up to you, um, and uh, they are just sort of they're they're kind of trying to power run. Uh, sort of, and they just sort of stop and are stumbling uh, kind of over you here. Um, and, uh, and the, they got, they, they, they both look very, they're very tall. They're very sort of athletic looking. Um, but, uh, the guy is like, got, got like uh, half a mile wide shoulders essentially. And just sort of looking down is, is, what, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing out here? Um, John is going to uh, try to cover for the uh, the the ventriloquist dog incident <laughs> and say, uh, "Oh, I, I don't I don't know what really happened. I just I just uh, tripped." And uh, they just sort of look at each other for a second um, as they're doing, it. and and uh, they're, they're like, "Oh, let's see." You go. And uh, you don't you do, you don't know okay there pal and they're they're gonna reach down and start helping you up um when they when they help me up I'm going to give them sort of a oh yeah thank you thank you and um do they have any uh like those things that runners don't want to call fanny packs but are actually fanny packs um they do actually they each have one um, okay um yeah. as uh, as they help me up I am gonna kind of See if I can get anything from their totally not fanny packs. Ah, excellent. Fanny pack so, robbery. <laughs> so please roll for me your roll for me your skill. Well, well, All right, yeah. gonna roll for fanny heist. Which I don't I don't see this as an actual skill that is on your list. Uh, no, <laughs> but uh, so uh, it's another bid for control, as uh, you have just uh, attempted to uh, uh, yeah to steal a thing from them. Uh, so everyone send me your bids. Okay, uh, Levi is uh, once again in control of John. Um, and uh, you have... Uh, basically, you, you, you find your, yourself with... Uh, again, you're still chained to this briefcase. Uh, but uh, your other hand is uh, reaching into... This gentleman's fanny pack, apparently, um, in in the middle of this park, and he's looking down at, at you and say, "What the hell are you doing?" And uh, he's uh, he's he's grabbing you now and uh, ch- slamming you against the nearest tree. Um, this is slightly familiar. Oh, anyway, um, <laughs> 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 he suddenly realizes. Um, <laughs> Apologies, I slammed Levi into a tree on Wednesday. Uh, well, a oh, Yeti yeah. did. the Yeti did it. It wasn't me. It wasn't my fault yeah. the Yeti did it. it the was, Yeti it was did the it. The Yeti that did it. The uh, Yeti did it. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he looks like he's getting ready to uh, to do a punching type thing on you. Mm. Um, what I'm going to do is try and um, either... If my hand is in the fanny pack, uh, I'll try to grab something from that. If not, just, like, grab the fanny pack itself and try to, like, all simultaneously dive away from the punch. Someone tells me, to someone tell me what he gets out of the fanny pack. <laughs> Kleenex. You have, uh, you've got, you, you get one of those little packets of Kleenex, those <sighs> portable travel packets. Um, that's a beer that's like about uh, two thirds full at this point. Um, and uh, what, what are you trying to do now? Where, where are you uh, to? If if I can, just like uh, wriggle out of the situation and uh, dodge the punch, then try and run back to the car. Okay. Well, that is uh, that. Th- this is the thing where you're trying to trying to do that. So I need you to make a roll. Are you forking in a skill here, or? Uh... Um, I don't think this is uh, a skill I have. So. All right. Uh, four. Four. Okay, we've got another bid for control as uh, John is getting beaten up uh, <laughs> while this is going on. Um, he's going to basically, I'm just going to combine this. You, you get punched in the face 
and uh, you know, John is so John is hurt. John is, and so there's even that also for bidding to control. That is your thing. Yeah. All right. Are all uh, are all bids uh, in? Yes, you did steal a thing. You did you did grab a thing. Yes. So that does um, that that does achieve one of your uh, one of your uh, one of your goals here. Yes. Um, <laughs> So you're good there. Um, and uh, so let me see. Okay, I need Birdie and Brittany to roll off. Okay, and so Birdie, you are once yes! again in control of John. All right. uh, you are getting the crap beaten out of you. Um, yes. And uh, so yeah, this, uh, yeah, apparently this guy just punched you in the face and uh, just sort of slumped down. You've got a, uh, a packet of Kleenex in in your hand, and um, you're uh, sort, of, sort of down there, and uh, you see him just sort of standing over you. The, the woman's just sort of trying to pull him back, and he says, I'm calling the cops! Uh, and yeah. he just sort of uh, you know, is going to stand a little bit away from you and pull out his phone. And he's Before he has a chance to call anyone, mm -hmm. I want to, um, I'm going to say, my dear sir, I am so sorry. I was not actually stealing from you, but my lord and savior snoopy told me that you are going to punch me in the face and i knew because he had told me that you had kleenex in your fanny pack and then he's gonna hear i'm gonna throw my voice and he's gonna hear it right behind his ear and he's gonna be like a like a snoopy voice like whoa, whoa, whoa. and he's gonna say I told her because I knew you had those. I saw you use them earlier oh, and I just God. wanted to make sure that she had Kleenex to clean her nose when you punched her. <laughs> okay, please roll ventriloquism. <laughs> okay. Yes, I got a five. Success. So he immediately is like just sort of looking around. <laughs> They're both looking around this couple, and they're like, "Oh my god, <laughs> what's what's happening?" <laughs> and you know, and she, uh, the and uh, she's just sort of looks at the guy. And she says, "George, George, I'm scared." And he says, no, it's okay. It's all right. I don't know what's happening, but but there's there's clearly there are clearly greater forces at work here. And he goes down on his knees. He says, "I'm so sorry." I'm so sorry. Don't be scared. Don't to. be scared. Our Lord and Savior Snoopy will willingly and happily take you under his cute little four legs and hold you tight, and he will protect you. All you have to do is commit yourself to him. And the, uh, and the, the woman is looking a little skeptical, but uh, just sort of looking down at her boyfriend. And she's just backing away slowly now. Uh, the boyfriend, Giorgio, apparently is his name. He says, yes, yes, my lord, Snoopy, I will. I will. As you are looking past them, by the way, off in the distance uh, in the park, you do notice, uh, look like a couple of, um, like a couple of guys in suits and sort of dark suits are just sort of looking around or walking around. They're looking around. Um... <laughs> And they're they're just sort of walking uh, cautiously and unsteadily. Okay, um, I <laughs> thank you for I the bits, it. by the way. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Snoopy, Snoopy blesses you, child. Um, so, <laughs> so I see these guys, and real quick because I don't want this lady to be messing with my guy's faith i i got him already so i'm not gonna let him go so i want to like close to her ear snoopy is gonna whisper and he's gonna say my child do not turn away from me i am here for you i love you <laughs> <laughs> i'm really trying okay. to convince her <laughs> i'd like to make another ventriloquism roll please <laughs> oh dear okay uh, so she screams and runs in the opposite direction she doesn't uh. know what to do um, yeah, she's screaming, running out into the park where those other other gentlemen are. Um, and uh, I need uh, it's another bid for control. <laughs> also, bear in mind, uh, you do not have to bid or you can uh, bid zero if you are bidding. That's also an option. 
Um, I need uh, Levi and Brittany to roll off, please. I need Levi and Brittany to roll off, please. <laughs> I need Levi and Brittany to roll off, please. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Is this Snoopy? <laughs> Keep going. Okay, good, good. There we go. <laughs> Snoopy has blessed you. <laughs> with the, okay. It's the winning roll. For control of John at the moment. With the yeah, overwhelming total. power <laughs> and grace of Snoopy behind me, I'm going to... Um, take off running in the opposite direction of those <laughs> guys with suits just running in my speedo and briefcase and do i see any bikes like okay. bicycles so i think this is the type of park where there would be a bike rack because of course there would uh as you're running toward it you do kind of catch out of the corner of your eye they're like that you see one of them pointing and they start running in your direction um there right. is a, there's a bike rack there are um, there are bikes that are chained to it, um, there. Um, uh, I assume you're going to be looking for one that is unchained in some fashion. Yeah, or someone riding a bike That's... that looks weak, like a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, we're gonna... <laughs> We're going to say, I think, I I think that, uh, yeah, this is going to, inv I, I think I'm going to call for a roll for bike findery here, just to make sure that you can get one. Um, oh. And uh, I th you actually possibly have a skill that might, you might play, bring into play here, uh, uh, if I'm reading your skill correctly. Uh, it, it'll come in handy when I have the bike in my possession. Uh, that's fair enough. Uh Go ahead and make a roll for us, and let us see if you are successful. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> uh, so I feel like this is. <laughs> I mean, I kind of would go ahead and fold that into bike identification, uh, to a certain extent. Um, so, um, you <laughs> you see someone. Who appears weak like a child, um, <laughs> riding? <laughs> right. This is a uh, this is an adult who is uh, just very. He, he looks like he is uh, just sort of uh, uh, just just very. He's he's dressed in. Uh, some reason he's dressed in like white slacks and a white shirt out out biking. Um, looks uh, looks uh, nearly elfin, um, and. Uh, on this uh, on this bike, um, what what would you like to do? Um. All right, so I'm going to sort of walk in front of him, and now nah, I'm just going to body tackle him off the bike. He's weak. I can take him. I just want the bike. All right. Um, and, uh, so yeah, so you, you dive toward this, uh, this gentleman, briefcase in hand, uh, tackling him, uh, please, if you would, uh, make a, uh, make a, a, a tackling, uh, anemic looking person roll for me. <laughs> is that a four? That would, uh, you heard of me as a four? That is a four. Yes. Um, I don't, yeah, it does not look to me as though, uh, as, as, as though that's on your skill list, so... <laughs> Um, you're going to have another bid for control as you narrowly miss this person with the, with the bike. And he's like, ah, <laughs> I knew I should have gone for the toddler on the Elsa bike. I know. Right. <laughs> I forgot my bid on this one. Yeah. Like I said, you can, uh, so anyone who wants to bid for control may do so. Do I have all the bids in? Okay. If I have all the bids in, then uh, Birdie is currently in control of John. Ass. 
Okay. Uh, so yes, there is. Uh, so yeah, uh, folks coming after you. Uh, man, sort of weaving around on a bike, not uh, not doing too well right in front of you. Uh, bike rack near you. What do you want to do? So I uh, did not tackle him. Right, I missed him. No, you are currently uh, tackling. Uh, uh, cu currently tackling the bushes. Ah, the bushes. Yes. Okay. So I am going to stay in the bush. I'm going to get all the way in the bush and I am going to, <laughs> I, do I still see those guys running around? Yeah. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am going to throw my voice uh, because I have so many suspicions about this briefcase that I'm still carrying and these drop zones and whatnot. So I am going to throw my voice and I'm going to make myself sound like um, a, a cop. And so I'm going to get like behind them a couple, like, couple yards and say stop right there stop where you are and and see if they run <laughs> okay uh, uh go ahead and, and do your voice throwery okay Damn oh, <laughs> oh I they, they just look around for a second they're like oh he's right over there <laughs> and i need uh, and we've got another bid for control for anyone who wishes to participate <laughs> All right. I think for the sake of um, uh, my own sanity, uh, I, I think any time that I'm calling for a bid, if you don't want to bid anything, just bid zero. And then that way I will know all the bids are in and that we're not having technical difficulties. Um, so uh, I see that, uh, yes, um, Levi, you're in control of John. Um People running right, for, there, there are a couple of guys in suits that are running right for you. Whoa, back to the car, back to the car. Back to the car, okay. Uh, you're running, and they're running after you, uh, heading for your car. <laughs> these, uh, <laughs> these guys are going to try to run up and tackle you. Um, so you must now roll to get away to be able to, to yeah. leap into your car before they reach you. I'm not skilled in getting tackled. No. But I do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you, just, you succeed. Uh, so you you get the car open. You leap into the vehicle, slam the door shut as they're running up, and you uh, you turn on the car and peel off as uh, you see them pulling out. Uh, you see them pulling out guns, um, and uh, but you have uh, but you, you you have left them behind you. Where are you heading now? Uh, if there's like some kind of like, show center area. I'm going to try to find a clothing store because, by golly, I need pants and probably a shirt. Pants? Pants are probably good. Um, shirts are also good. Uh, to head toward a clothing store, you're going to be driving further into town. So now I'm going to need you to make a roll uh, yes. to avoid uh, this this near Atlanta traffic you're about to encounter. Yeah. And I'll, like, bob and weave through lanes going as fast as I can. <laughs> No! Nope. This is not going to augur well for John. Tell me, what does a... Uh, is it even possible to wrap a smart car around a phone pole? Um, I wonder. Um, barely. Barely. It's... it's. Uh, I, I know. These are... This is, this is probably not going to go terribly well. Uh, so, yes. As you're bobbing and weaving, uh, you find that the uh, another... You, you just... You go into a lane thinking that there's that uh, that you're going to be able to, and it turns out there's actually you weren't able to see it terribly well from where you are, and there's actually a car standing in the middle of the freaking road with its light, lights blinking. You peel off and uh, go off the road and onto the sidewalk, and are about to probably uh, and are and are hitting a thing. Um, mm -hmm. I, I I think. Uh, but I think right now it's a, it's a small car, so you're driving on the sidewalk. Let's, um, uh, because that entertains me more, uh, I would like uh, everyone, once again, you've, uh, we're, we're in control, uh, rolling for control. Bidding for control. All right. Birdie, you are driving on the sidewalk. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> hurtling, the car is bumping up and down. Pedestrians are trying to dive out of the way. Uh, you can see there's a, 
there, there's this there's an incline coming too where the sidewalk becomes stairs for a little bit, uh, and so that's probably going to be ser- a serious problem in a moment. What would you like I to would, do? I would like to slam on my brakes as hard as I can. Ah, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> That generally works well. Uh, <laughs> you slam on the brakes. I need you to. Uh, I'm still gonna need you to make a roll to regain control of this vehicle. <laughs> Please. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nope. Nope. No skills there. Nope. Uh, so yes. Uh, the uh, the Not car. Sp- I can talk the car into stopping. <laughs> car spins and is tumbling down a set of stairs. Uh, in the uh, the side, the, basically the, the s- steps in the sidewalk. Uh, um, and uh, once again, we have a bid for control. As you're you're going to black out for a moment, and I'll tell you what you see when you wake up. <laughs> Wait, is this is this another bid or what? It's a bid. It's another bid. I, I see. Uh. Yeah. When he blacks out, we get one willpower back, right? Um, there is a thing. That's true. Usually, that's uh, that's if John falls asleep from getting bored. Uh. Um, uh. That uh, that usually that happens. Um, this is more just sort of a temporary. I got hit in the head thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that that's uh, uh, <laughs> kind of more what we're we're looking at here. Um, yeah, this is if John gets distracted and falls asleep, basically. And this is really more of a, mm, yeah, whenever nothing else is happening for like 10 minutes or more in game time, essentially. Uh, or so. Uh, yeah, so uh, I need everyone to roll off, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Birdie, you are, uh, you, you retain control as it's like, okay, eyes are opening. Um, and, uh. I have, uh, let me make sure that I've got, just for the, for the speed of this, all right, as far as I can still tell, everyone still has at least a point, um, so, um, you, uh, you wake up, the car has slammed into a, uh, has slammed into a, uh, a, phone, a telephone pole. Actually, a street lamp. Let's say it's a street lamp. That's more entertaining to me. Uh, car is slammed into a street lamp, um, and uh, is as you sort of had uh, tumbled down these these stairs on it, and is kind of just sort of teetering, kind of on its side. It's kind of like it's this is a tiny car, so it's like you came up and the car is like. Um, <coughs> impaled kind of on the street lamp this the side of it through the side um and you're sort of sitting here you're kind of your your head's bleeding a little bit uh what would you like to do i want to get out of the car and um i want to look at all the people that are walking on the sidewalk and if anyone is walking by and it's just a person i want to kind of act like i am fine and don't worry about me everything is fine but if i see someone with a dog i'm gonna go and just like fall down in front of them and just be like ow oh i'm in so much pain everything hurts <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's uh, you so you you know you you walk for a little bit for just sort of possibly possibly limping a little bit uh, as you're, uh, you're sort of getting out, you kind of, you know, things, every, the muscles all got tense right now, so you kind of got maybe, maybe a bit of a leg cramp, um, also, and, uh, you're saying, you're fine, I'm fine, this, this, uh, this, uh, near-naked person carrying a, a briefcase, uh, uh, chained to their wrist, um, and, uh, you do kind of, uh, round a corner, uh, and, uh, so sort of away from this vehicle, and, uh, you do see, uh, you do see someone walking a dog. Um, okay. You see a woman, um, and uh, they are walking. <coughs> what type of dog is it? It is. We will say it is a Labrador Retriever. So it's uh, a bit more on the slightly bi- slightly bigger end. Sort good. Of, good. Uh, brownish, goldish coat. Okay, good. So I'm going to fall down in front of them and try to act like the saddest, most hurt person ever. And I am going to, um, 
I'm sure they're, they, they must stop for me because they feel terrible that I'm in so much pain. So I'm going <laughs> to tell the lady, Oh my gosh, I'm, I hurt so much. And Oh puppy. And then I'm like, come here puppy. Oh man. I heard, I heard the dogs, uh, mouths have healing properties. Come what? here puppy. Give me a kiss. <laughs> I'm gonna call the hospital. I I'm I I gotta I'm gonna call nine one one. You look hurt. Sure, sure. Come here, puppy. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. She's gonna yeah. She's she's gonna take out her phone and she's starting to dial the, the would, dog will come up to you and and. Uh, I'm gonna go kiss and kiss, we'll start. kiss kiss kiss. I'm gonna try to get him to lick me. The yeah, face. the dog is gonna yeah the the I I feel as though. Jim has a different understanding of dogs from what is often narratively <laughs> common. However. Uh, uh, he, uh, I, I'm going to go with what's narratively common. Uh, so yeah, he comes up and he starts licking your face. Oh, yay! Good puppy kisses! Yes. And then I'm going to stop. And I am going to say, oh my god. Lady, do you know what you have here? And, uh, <clears throat> she says, I've got a, uh, I've got an injured person is what I've got here. No, lady. Lady, hang up the phone. I need to talk to you. I'm fine. I need to talk to you. You're bleeding from the head. No, it's not real. It's fine. I was a joke. Listen, I've got to talk to you right now. Uh, yeah, I guess you got to roll, roll to convince her that. Uh, not to, <laughs> Is that part of my fine. public speaking? Um, I think you, it's loud enough. Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Why can't I get any of these? And just like, just like. I think you'd better just just stay there. That's no. Uh, I need a roll for control, or not a roll. I need a bid for control, please. <laughs> okay. Do 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 do. All right, Levi, you are in control. Um, dog is licking your face. Woman is calling someone on a phone. You still have the briefcase. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I, ah. Oh, listen, uh, ma'am, I should be fine. I, well, this seems pretty, uh, pretty, um, what's, the, like, like a flashman or whatever. Uh, we should be good. Uh, no, 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 no. We'll it's just, just, just lie still, okay? It, it'll be all right. I'm, I'm there. It'll be. Hello? Yes. No, I've got. Uh, uh, so, someone here is injured. Yeah, they're like half naked, mostly naked at this point. Yeah, and they're just they're bleeding from the head. Yes. I'm. I'm on the. Uh, I'm on the corner of plot and device. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, it's fine. No, it's okay. I'll be. I'll be here. All right. Let's just just lie still. Um. Yeah, they're conscious. Okay. Good. Good. No, just lie still. They're coming. They're sending an ambulance. I just want to remind everyone also that when you are at zero willpower, you can still you, you can still bid, right. you can still put in for it. It's uh, it, uh, it sort of depends. Um, you're just bidding nothing. Um, yeah. Once I get that point, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, what are you doing? <laughs> I think. Yeah, I think there's not much I can do here at this point. Like the, the lay can't be convinced. So I think I'm just going to... Just wait for the ambulance? Wait for the ambulance so that John get bored. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm, that At that point, that's very interesting. Very strategic of you. Yes. Uh, so, yes. John is uh, John gets bored and falls asleep. Everyone regains one willpower. Um, because it's just sort of waiting there. And uh, now I need a bid for control.
Okay. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Brittany, you uh, you awaken, and you're being hauled into an ambulance. Uh, these uh, these two uh, um, sort of sort of beefy looking um, uh, responders, first responders, are uh, sort of picking you up. They 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 they're strapping you into this uh, onto this gurney. Oh no! Not strapping. They're, am, they're I, am I spider the strapped they're in? It. Yeah, they're not strapped in, but they're they've got a they they've got a you know they're they're lying you on it. I'm sorry. So I'm not I'm not spider strapped. You're not. They spider. don't have me on the spine board or anything. Um, I don't think so. I don't think they 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 think it's necessary yet. Uh, okay. But so yeah, so they're 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 not uh, they're not trying to pin you down, but you've got like your arm over you uh, with the briefcase on your stomach. Um, am I in a, am I in a sea collar? Um, you're going to have to remind me what that is. Um, it's the, the neck brace. I think they would put you in a neck brace. Um, okay. Because you've got a head, a head injury. So turning my entire body then, um, John is going to say, I'm fine. Look what I can do. And in order to convince them that he is fine, he is going to put his entire fist in his mouth. Because that is something that only a person who is fine can do. Everyone knows that. Absolutely. Uh, please make a roll. You you have this as a skill. <laughs> ah, you made it. Good. Excellent. So you do that, and they just kind of they they just start laughing as they mm -hmm. see you. They just sort of like, <laughs> oh, you really had us going there. Oh man. Uh, uh, what? And uh, uh, we thought you'd. Uh, are, are, are you okay? Uh huh. And uh, the woman's just sort of standing there, just sort of dumbstruck by this whole thing. Her do her dog is yapping at you. Um. And uh, they're they're like, well, no, 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 miss. That's the that's the official test. That's the uh, the you know if you if you're able to put your fist in your mouth. Then that means you're okay. That means that you don't have a concussion, um, <laughs> and uh, and you know they're, they're they're sort of you know the one nods to her, and she's just sort of looking back and forth at the two of them like their their heads have turned to cabbage, um, and uh, so they're they're gonna let you up from the from the from the little gurney. Um, John's gonna you know sign the refusal forms and then uh, is going to start. As casually as a man in a speedo with a briefcase handcuffed to his wrist can, um, <laughs> sort of casually stroll down the road. Um, are we near uh, a getting, suburb? Yeah, you're, you're well. You're uh, you're actually getting further into town, so you uh, you're seeing slightly taller buildings. Okay, um, so not near a suburb. Are there any bikes? It's an excellent question, right? I'll say that this city is uh, is in that stage of self enlightenment where they have bicycle paths. Um, you see a little of a ways down the road, uh, one of those racks uh, where they have the uh, the public bikes where you have to you have to swipe a, a city card and pull out the bike and you can ride it. Do I have any uh, any card or money in? I believe someone referred to it as the speedo of holding in the chat, um, and I <laughs> liked that term a lot. Do, so, do I have any money or cards in my speedo of holding? The speedo of holding, unfortunately, is only a first level item. Um, but uh, you've got uh, you do have you have a credit card in there. <laughs> good. Okay. Um, credit card and a driver's license. Okay, good. So I'm going to uh, to to rent a bike. Okay, so you <laughs> so you go up to you go up to swipe the card. Um, and uh, as you are pulling the bike out, um, this uh, black SUV comes around the corner. Uh, and. 
you can see that they're they're sort of with, with tires screeching. You're pulling the bike out. Tires are screeching, and they're pulling up near where you are. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. I know that I don't really want to go in the SUV, but I do want to go to the zoo. <laughs> so John is going to, um, I mean, he's going to pop a wheelie, spin the spin the front wheel a little bit, and then just take off biking, okay. uh, do a couple grinds, you know. Belt down the road. Uh, go ahead and make for me your uh, make a BMX roll, please. That is a skill. Ah, excellent. So yes, you quickly because they stopped. If they hadn't stopped, then uh, you you wouldn't be able to get away from them. Um, but you managed to pull away. They're uh, they're 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 still back there somewhere. But you're now biking uh, again, very furiously. Uh, toward again toward the outskirts of town, um, you, you have to head up uh, through part of town and then uh, then uh, sort of on the northeast end where the zoo is. Um, you're kind of biking, so you don't so you don't see them behind you. Um, it is uh, you you uh, cut through a couple of uh, uh, you know take a couple of shortcuts, cut through parking lots, things of that nature, um, and. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think that the biking activity in itself would be boring enough for you to fall asleep. Um, Especially because so, he's pulling some like yeah, it, he's pulling some sick moves. You're doing several stunts through town, and people yeah, you occasionally pass by and they applaud because they think that it's a performance art. Um, the person man, man in speed man in speedo carrying briefcase bikes through town, representing the inner torment of his soul. Um, and, uh, very well represented because I can imagine that that speedo is going to ride up awful. Yeah. Yeah. It's not feeling great. Uh, so you eventually, uh, again, you're out in the out in the outskirts and, uh, you're coming up, you know, sort of, uh, sort of very close to the suburbs. You, uh, pull in down this side road that leads you, uh, to what you see as the, um, Jim, uh, remember, said that he does not have a pencil. Can anyone remember what the name of the city was? It started with an M. Martino. Martino. The Mar Martino City Zoo. <laughs> it's this uh, big sort of brick front affair with uh, the, uh, the, 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 the requisite sort of archway with the, those words emblazoned upon it um, as the entrance to the zoo. Um, there, there, I'm are, gonna... there is a back, there is a bike rack here, uh, if you wish to deposit your bike. Yeah, I'm not an, I'm not an, I'm not an animal. No, of course um, not. Those John's are inside. Gonna... <laughs> John's going to um, deposit his bike at the bike rack, and then um, gonna, you know, buy a ticket through the usual means using that that credit card, um, and will. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, if so there is as you are heading to, as you head to the, uh, as you get to the, uh, the ticket booth, you head up, um, let's say it's not quite five o'clock yet, people haven't gotten off work, so it's not a, there's not a huge line. Um, they sort of look at you, um, sir, you have to have shoes to, uh, to enter the zoo. I mean, the first thing I'm going to do when I get in is I'm going to go to that gift shop and I'm going to buy myself just all sorts of clothes, <laughs> probably two pairs of pants. Mm. Uh, I think this is an attempt to convince someone. So yes, that's uh, that's what you're. You must roll now. All right. Uh, as uh, unfortunately, there is no associated skill. Uh, so yes, um, I need a bid for control, please. Or you must have shoes to enter the zoo. Okay. Dee, 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 dee. Let me do that. Let me send a... Let me look down here. Okay, I'll send that in a moment. Uh, Birdie, uh, you are in control. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! You're standing, in the, you're standing at this booth, this uh, angry ticket taker, uh, this angry... Uh, yeah. Person behind the booth is telling is is saying something about shoes. Yes. So I am going to use my uh, my 
wonderful public speaking skills to talk to this person and say, listen, I know that that sounds a little bit sketch, but I purposely came today without shoes because I know that you guys have some really cool flip flops in there that are in the shape of a turtle. And I need those in my life. So I didn't want to have to carry my extra shoes around all day. Once I switched into those, I just want to get the turtle shoes, maybe a t-shirt and ball cap. And then I'll be, I'll be out of your hair. I will be in the zoo fully clothed. Uh, go ahead and make your uh, make your speaking roll, please. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> you have public speaking. Um, they're like, <sighs> all right, all right. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go in and go straight to the thing, and I really, I really do want to buy some shoes and a yeah. shirt because I don't want anyone to hassle me while I'm in here. So yeah, you go into the gift shop. There are uh, there are indeed. Um, uh, 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 gaily colored uh, items of clothing here uh, in the shapes of animals um, of various kinds. Um, you do find a pair of, uh, of uh, turtle emblazoned flip-flops. For yes. some reason, Jim enjoys the, the, the word emblazoned this afternoon. <laughs> um, and uh, you, you find, um, you find a, a pair of shorts and a, uh, and, you know, a, and a t-shirt um, and, and ball cap, all with all with various various types of animals on on them. You, you find a you find a thing with a lion on it, and you find a thing with an elephant on it. Um, probably a thing with with monkeys on it, holding hands. Oh, that's sweet. Well, now that I have my clothing, I am going to walk out back into the zoo, and I think that John, because of my love of animals, has been here several times. And so I'm going to head straight back to the African wild dog exhibit. <laughs> and so you do, you head to the, <laughs> to the African wild dog exhibit. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> quick Google, tell me what these look like. Okay. Yeah. So they have uh Oh, they're 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 very interesting. They have uh, they they look a little hyena-ish, mm -hmm. big sort of rounded ears, um, sort of uh, spots down below as and it sort of gets uh, more even as it comes up. They uh, um, have uh, sort of mottled um, uh, light brown and dark brown and white uh, fur um, as they're running around um, just in their uh, in their habitat. Um, I haven't been to a zoo in quite a while, uh, so I'm just going to assume that it's this kind of um, sort of thing with a little, a little like a low uh, uh, iron fence type thing, and then uh, a, a ditch, sort of rocky ditch where they've created put these these rocks, and then beyond it more rocks, and a sort of a rocky facade that probably has a door in there back there somewhere that leads to. Um, the, the land of the zookeepers. <laughs> well, once I get over there, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that there's a few people standing around checking out these beautiful creatures. And, um, I'm going to, I'm going to see which dog is, is standing closest to us. And I am going to throw my voice so that everyone is, that's watching this dog. It sounds like this voice is coming straight from where this dog is. And uh, I'm going to say in a in a dog-like voice, hello, people of the zoo. Oh it is so wonderful to have you here. Thank you for bringing your kind thoughts to me, Snoopy, the god of all dogs. It is such an amazing day to see this gathered throng here to give me love and support like I have given you throughout your entire lives. Now, someone, please get me out of this cage. <laughs> I need to go back to my temple. So, I need you to make your roll for ventriloquism, please. <laughs> No! <laughs> this is the worst game. <laughs> no! Remind me from where you where where did you conceal yourself again? <laughs> I was just I 
was be I was standing like in amongst the crowd, but like with okay. my ball cap down. All right, gotcha. Okay, good, good. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. Right. So. Are all the uh, are all the bids in? Okay. Um, looks like. Yeah, looks like. Uh, so, Brittany, um, you're in a crowd at the zoo. And everyone is kind of looking at you real weird. And a couple of people are laughing a little bit and just sort of laughing and pointing. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the, the rest of them are just sort of like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, John is going to say, did anybody else just hear that dog talk? And then, oh God, he's jumping in, um, to the African wild dog enclosure. Ah, that sounds safe. Um, <laughs> And sort of <laughs> Jurassic World style, like hands out. Um. So you're going to try to? They're like <laughs> they immediately like like they're, they're on the alert and they start. I don't know how these particular type of dogs sound, so I'm just going to wing it. Um, they're sort of like, <laughs> um, and uh, you're attempting to uh, to calm them down, basically keep them from doing anything to you. Uh, yeah, so, uh, roll animal handling, please. <laughs> For that is one of your skills. <laughs> so. I had a good life. I wonder, I wonder, Jim says to himself in his, uh, uh, internal, uh, inter... <laughs> no, that's right, that's a dollar for the Alu jar. Uh... <laughs> I wonder, Jim says to himself in his internal monologue, what it's like to be mauled by African wild dogs. How wonderful it is that we have the opportunity to find out. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, they, uh, so, so they're leaping upon you. And uh, like, ah, ah, ah. And uh, now is the time uh, for a uh, bid for control, please. <laughs> oh, well, there's a clear winner here. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, that winner is Levi. Uh -huh. um, so, uh, Levi, congratulations. You're being mauled by wild African dogs. Yeah. Uh, African wild dogs. Yeah. Um, and uh, they're, they're tearing at you. They're, they're like coming at you. They're like, ah, ah. They're coming at you, tearing at you. What you doing? So good. Like, take the uh, briefcase and kind of like bat them away mm. and then and then uh if i can uh make get an opening i'm just going to like run uh, towards the back wall and kind of bang on the door all right so yeah i, I think you, you need a roll here to uh to be able to uh, get them away from you long enough to get over there and get to the door so yeah this is uh once a roll okay um so one of the dogs bites into the briefcase and tears it open. Um, and a bunch of papers fill out along with a, uh, a little sort of uh, a little glass container that tumbles out uh, onto one of the rocks. And, there's, and a couple of them are starting to like ah, nah, nah, get at it. Um, and uh, it is time to uh, once again uh, bid for control. <laughs> so much willpower. Guys, it's really hard to bid when you're out of willpower. <laughs> That's fair. Um, yeah. All right. I, uh, I need... Uh, I need everyone to roll off, please. 
You mean no one wants to come into this situation being mauled by dogs? Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brittany. Uh, <laughs> you're in control. <laughs> Um, Am I? Yeah. Well, without having, yeah, yeah, without without having spent anything, you're in control. That's how this works. Um, cool, 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 cool. So uh, yeah. So um, <clears throat> let's see what happened. Oh yes. Uh, so yeah, the yeah papers and and glass thing uh, over over a bit of a ways between these dogs that are like batting it back and forth. Uh, you're trying to get away. They're like they're they're like biting at your leg and. Uh, and like coming in like, ah, rah, rah. there's a lot of barking. Um, and uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, tearing, tearing away at your shorts that you've just purchased um, with, with, the, uh, with the amusing, uh, amusing cartoon monkeys on it. Uh, and uh, so uh, what, are you, uh, what are you doing? Um, well, I'm trying to get the door open. Um, but I also do want to look at what just fell out of that briefcase. Yeah, uh, well... Uh, it looks like it's it's a sort of a some kind of a I wouldn't say test tube exactly. It's like a scientific but it's a sort of thing that you'd have in a have in a lab but it's got a, a a thing sealing it at both ends. A little tube, a little glass tube um with what looks like something suspended inside. That might be giving off a very, very mild green glow. That's alarming. Um, I'm going to grab it and shove it back in the briefcase and hold it so that the hole is not uh, so that you know, it doesn't down get smashed open. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Go ahead then and uh, uh, make a. Uh, um, <laughs> Make a thing grabbery roll uh, to uh, get that done. Okay. I do not grab the thing. You do not grab the thing. I I I will say there is an argument to use the animal handling for this roll. That is true. Um, um, so if you if you wish to have it narrated that way, then that is a success. Yes. Yeah, so as as he is reaching down, um, John is giving a very uh, calming. He's gonna he's gonna try to like ASMR these wild dogs into submission. Okay. Not to rip so his. They just off. sort of like 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 you you do manage to kind of get them to to back off a bit, and they're like, and you pick up this thing, um, that apparently has some kind of uh, it has like some kind of logo on it from some kind of laboratory, um, from amongst the papers, um, and. Uh, you want to uh, you head o- head over and open the door? Yeah, I want to. Um, but I don't just want to like leave. I want to leave with the dogs. Ah, okay. I want to release them into the zoo. Ah, okay. Um, well, that uh, that probably will not be. Uh, well, well, let's let's see. So you're gonna try to get the door open, um, which. Uh, this might be a little tricky, but we'll see. Get in, uh, go through the thing, and then bolt out. Okay. Um, the animal animal handling part's not really so much the problem as it is uh, getting getting that door open from this side. Uh, so this is going to be essentially a thing not unlike picking locks or uh, something to that that uh, to that uh, 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 wrenching a door open. However, uh, wh- whatever we want to call that. Um, I don't see any, any skills like that, so I guess we're just rolling a die and seeing what happens. Okay. But d- d- does the door know that I'm really good at BMX? Like, um, I feel as though that has escaped the door's notice at this point, unfortunately. Um, so, um, I'm just going to make things a little bit faster here, real quick. Uh... And and ask if uh, Brittany, do you want to spend a point, or would you prefer to roll? <laughs> or... <laughs> I'd prefer to roll. Everyone, please roll for control. <laughs> because right now, everyone but Brittany is at zero. <laughs> okay, uh, that's Levi. Um, Levi, you're in control. Uh, <laughs> you're holding this thing. 
<laughs> and uh, and a half open briefcase and an open briefcase is chained to your arm. You're at the door. Can't seem to get it open. It's 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 sealed. It's not where it's not coming open. Yeah, I think I'm going to uh, try and like I have against the wall past the dogs. Then I'm just going to uh, leap over the little gap and then vault over the uh, little fence. Ah, that sounds like gymnastics. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think I get to use this skill. Nope. Okay, so you leap. Whap. Um, I think you're gonna fall into the pit. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, that's there. Uh, you don't you you misjudge the distance and you leap up to try to get over the pit and you end up catching on the other end and sliding down into the thing. Um, we have a. Uh, we have another roll for control now. <laughs> or not a roll, sorry. Uh, uh, well, depends. Um, do we have a roll or do we have a bid? That's a bid. We have a... <laughs> a roll, sorry. Yeah, it's a roll. <laughs> All right. Everyone roll, please. <sighs> Good. Did everybody roll? Um, okay. I rolled. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Levi, you're still in control. So you're now you're you're groaning at the bottom of this uh, at the bottom of this thing. Um, as you land, uh, there is uh, the the glass vial breaks. A, there's a crack in it now. Um, it's not open, but there's it's now cracked. Um, it's sort of like land very heavily. Um, you kind of think you might have dislocated, uh, your free arm. Mm. And, uh, so what would you like to do? I think, uh, John's just gonna call, call out, hey, I, I need some assistance down here. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay. Um. Little guy's trapped in the well. <laughs> I need you to make your calling for help roll. All right. Nope. Nope. Um. So after after a moment, uh, you know, it's, it's well, you're lying there for a minute, and, and no help seems to be coming. And now also, I need a uh, I need a roll for uh. Well, not a rule. I'm sorry. It depends on if... Well, I guess we didn't want to bid anything. Levi, you're still in control. Um, and uh, I'm going to say, given now that... Uh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> depends on wh how far we want to extend this, really, as to whether uh, whether we go on break or if we just power through until maybe, like, the end of the hour, and that might be it. Um, I think... Uh, yeah. So... You, um, yes, yeah, so you're lying there for a bit. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Um, it's always one of those weird things, those narrative beats. Uh, Ooh. yeah, so you failed to summon anyone. And, uh, so what you're going to see is, uh, you're going to see somebody actually shows up standing uh, sort of at the top, seems to be coming, climbing over. Uh, you, you have summoned someone, you realize. After a moment, you're, you're ready to give up. You're about ready to give up. And you see these two, uh, two gentlemen wearing black suits climbing up over the, uh, the edge of the... Uh, of it, and they just sort of look down at you. And uh, they just sort of... They're, they're, sort of they're, they're, they're starting to precariously climb down into the pit. Uh, to, to come and get you. <laughs> what are you doing? Afternoon. Uh, was this not the drop-off point? They just sort of look at you. Oh, you're a funny guy, huh? Okay. Uh, they're going to reach... <laughs> they're going to just sort of bend down. Give us the isotope, John. Before it does any more, da before it does any more damage. And, like... 
almost as if shaking his hand with the isotope in it. It's going to take his hand. All right. They, his uh, hand. And also hold up the uh, handcuff. They're just sort of looking at it. <laughs> they're going to pick you up as this is going on. Uh, do you just let them do all these things? Uh, is there a... Is there... at, this, at this point, yeah. All right. There's, they lead you there. So they uh, they lead you out there uh, as uh, out of this uh, this area. Some of the zoo some of the zoo staff shows up and they flash badges at them. Um, and uh, they're looking. They they see they look at the isotope as it's uh, looks like it's it's got the crack in it, and they're like, oh, crap, this place might be contaminated. <laughs> We're gonna have to set up a quarantine. Um, and so they, uh, they pull you out and they, 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 uh, they're, they're like starting to kind of, they're shaking their heads just sort of, pa and, and like one of them is panicking uh, a little bit because they, they're not, you know, they, 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 there's a question of contamination now. And, uh, so they're starting to call, call things in a walkie talkies and you're just sort of actually standing between them. Um, and they're just, you know, they're still holding you like, hang on, just hold on there. And, uh, I'm going to say that you actually, um, over this time, not off for a moment. <laughs> and, uh, I think, uh, we're going to take a, <laughs> well, I was going to say we might take a quick break. <laughs> um, when we do, our, and then we'll do our, uh, then we'll do our, uh, our bid for control. <laughs> Um, <laughs> since we've got uh, we got since we're since we're uh, nearing the the two hour mark, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna if if folks are all right with it, we're gonna take a quick break as we're right. determining what happens now, and uh, then we'll we'll see. Um, so uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. See you shortly. <laughs>
We have returned. Um, I'm back here with John, and also John, and also John, uh, and uh, we are uh, uh, now uh, bidding for control to see uh, <laughs> who's steering. So I need to. Uh, so uh, I only got one bid. Um, so I'll need to oh, see. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to bid zero. So if whoever bidded. Yeah. yeah same. Mine okay. Zero. In that case, Brittany, you're in control. <laughs> so let me tell you what you see when you wake up. Um, let's see. Get that down. Oh, look, everyone has the same amount of willpower now. Um, so you awaken. You're in a tent, looks like. It's a white tent that appears to have been set up. It's a sort of plastic around, uh, sort of plastic tent. Um, there is, uh, you're, you're lying on a table, a sort of a gurney-like table. Um, you're, uh, you're amusing uh, um, uh, uh, cartoon uh, uh, monkey emblazoned shorts are uh, not, not upon you at this time. Uh, but uh, you are still wearing your, your shirt and ball cap and the Speedo. Um, Wait, what about the turtle shoes? Those are important. The turtle shoes appear to be <laughs> sitting on a, uh, a, a metal chair that has been brought in that's nearby. Um, there is a table with some, uh, some medical equipment. Um, and uh, you are actually, it looks, and... Uh, so as you kind of look down, you realize that you uh, where that you look up and your right arm is no longer chained to anything. I, I've assumed it was your right arm this whole time. It was chained to the briefcase. But now your left arm is chained to the to the gurney that you're lying on. So what are you doing? Well, hmm. I'm going to. Um, OK, all right. So I'm going to call for help, and then immediately after calling for help, I am going to stuff my whole fist in my mouth, the hand that is handcuffed. So I'm going to contort a little bit to <laughs> stuff my whole hand into my mouth, 
and continue to now muffled call for help. In I hopes. thought for a moment there was. <laughs> I thought you were going to go a different way with that. Um, hang on, it's the hand that's cuffed that you're 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 doing that with. Yeah, my hope is that it needs to be removed so that I can yeah. um, get so, myself out of this. Yeah, this so, so you're trying to you're trying to use that to get it to get the the cuffs off, right? Is that yeah? No, that uh, that well, that's what I'm saying. Is that that's that's brilliant. Um, <laughs> For, for just as far as the not not in real human physics, but in, for this game, it's brilliant. Uh, please make a roll for the on that skill. Okay, so I choke on my own hand. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, So you are calling for help, and you're doing this. You're trying to get them off, and uh, you're like <laughs> trying to get this uh, this thing off. You just can't quite contort the bones well enough to uh, to make it so that you can get the thing off. Um, and uh, a couple of uh, people in hazmat suits are coming into the tent. I now need a bid for control. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Levi, you're in control. There are a... Uh, Couple of people in hazmat suits that are that are coming into this tent that you're in, and then your 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 fist is in your mouth, strangely. <laughs> All right, uh, listen, I don't know what, what, what's going on. I've had a real day. Uh, I brought you your thing. This, I brought you the thing that you wanted. I uh, just look at we could both wash our wash our hands of this of each other. This whole thing. You're just trying to talk them down? Uh, yeah, trying to like, convince them to let me go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> make a roll. <laughs> make a roll to get them. Okay, uh, apparently they're committing treason today. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yay, treason. So they're like... <laughs> yeah, and actually, so they, they you see them, they, they flip up their, the, the, the hazmat faces. They're like, yeah, you know, that, that isotope is not really that that dangerous i don't think probably i mean there it's you got a bum rap john really i think um and uh we really you know i why why they've got folks doing i mean yeah i mean there's national security and all that but you know i mean uh, why 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 do they why do they worry so much about this stuff man i just don't know and then the other one shakes his head no i don't know either and uh, they are uh, they're proceeding to they proceed to unlock your cuff your cuffs, and they're like your um so your shorts were kind of torn up um we're, we're not really going to be able to uh I, I mean it, it's kind of worth more than our it's kind of more than our jobs are worth to uh to 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 try to be seen sneaking you out so um yeah. you're, you're kind of on your own but uh, we'll uh, we'll take we'll go on break yeah Tell I can what. I can show myself out uh saying saying, saying never saw me. Yep. I. Yep. Yep. Think so. All right. Yep. All right. Good luck. Thank you. And you they, too. They just head out. Yeah. Then uh, just just gonna do 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 walk around. Nothing to see here. And find his way out of the tent facility or. Okay, so you're going to location. just step out of the tent and, and act like you belong there. Uh, yep. As you're walking around. Okay. Um, nope. Nope. <laughs> So, as you are, yeah, you see this basically this this group of tents around. There's been a sort of a, a barricade, a police barricade around the uh, um, around where the 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 the, the African uh, wild dog exhibit uh, is, and uh, you see that there is uh, you see there are people in hazmat suits crawling all over the place and in the exhibit and over it, and uh, one of them is petting one of the dogs. Um, and, um, there are a couple of, a couple of them just sort of see you and they're like, ah, and they start, and they start to run after you. And now is the time once again to bid for control. Okay. So, Bertie, you're in control. 
Okay, so uh, I, th I think you know where I'm going with this. I am going to immediately throw my voice so that it sounds like the dog that the guy in the hazmat suit is petting is gonna talk to him like right in his face, right? And he goes, my child, I do appreciate the love and affection you have showered upon me, but now I need you as a follower of the great God Snoopy, me, I'm Snoopy, to go and relieve my friend of his burdens. That is my prophet, my prophet, John. Please help me and John get out of here. We need to go back to the temple and you can come with us and take part in all of the riches that I, the God Snoopy, can provide to you. Roll ventriloquism, please. <laughs> If I don't get this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no! Oh, so close. So close. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> BS forsaken us. <laughs> Snoopy has forsaken us. <laughs> so. As, as you do this, people are like, looking, they're, they're looking at each other. Oh God, it's gotten worse. He's starting to hallucinate. And, uh, now I need, I need another bid for control, please. <laughs> That's a lot of willpower. I need everyone to roll off, please. Okay, Levi. <laughs> People in hazmat suits coming to get you. I just could run. I just could run. Run. <laughs> Find a car. Run. Try to try to get out. Okay, you're, you're heading for the exit, for the exit, or or deeper into the zoo. Um, head towards the exit. Uh, try and find the, the zoo parking lot. All right. Please roll to escape them. <laughs> nope. Nope. You make it to the barricade. <laughs> And then they tackle you. <laughs> and it's time once again to bid for control. All right, everybody roll off, please. <laughs> what does roll 20 have against me? I don't this know. is what I want to <laughs> Uh, uh, all right. What uh, did you do to upset Eric Volgaris? That's really the question. I think that's how this goes. Yeah, actually, if you look up and um, scroll past your bids, it's also one, two, four. I, I, I've noticed that um, Roll20 has favored Levi today, and yeah, I don't think it knows that it is Women in Gaming Month. <laughs> um, yes. Damn it. Yeah. So that's I right, had Eric. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Can we get a plus one on all rolls, please? <laughs> I'm sure that's possible. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, Levi, you are currently right. in control of John, and uh, these uh, these people. There's a pile of, of people in hazmat suits on top of you. What would you like to do? I will. I guess I have to like punch, punch and bite my way out of here. Punch and bite your way out. Excellent. Yes. Make your punching and biting your way out roll. No, uh, that's nope. not a skill I have. All right. So they grab you and they 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 haul you up, and they are uh, and they're carrying you to be further confined. Um, and uh, I will need. Uh, let's see. No, no, it's a failed roll. We're just gonna, we're going to do this right. Everyone, please bid for control. Just holding on to that last point of willpower and a death grip. Everyone roll off! <laughs> okay, I need Brittany and Birdie to roll off, please. Okay, Brittany! <laughs> you, you have control of John as they are, they are carrying you bodily uh, over to, it looks like, um, they, they've, got a, they've got a little, they've got a... Uh, yeah, they've got an ambulance. It's an unmarked ambulance um, here. Oh, no. <laughs> an unmarked government ambulance that they are carrying you toward. What are you doing? 
Okay. Um, so we're still in the zoo, right? We're still in the zoo right now, yes. Okay. Um, what's the nearest exhibit? Is it still those wild dogs? Yeah, it's still the wild dogs right now because this is the area. It's only the wild dog exhibit that has been uh, quarantined. <laughs> okay. Um, so John is going to look over at the uh, the wild dogs and shout, um, My brothers, help me and I shall bring you to freedom. To the wild dogs. That's a thought. Um, <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, oh, well, okay. Uh, so this is animal handling, then, is it? <laughs> Make an animal handling roll. Oh, there you go. Um, so <laughs> the dog that is currently being petted immediately bites the uh, uh, the the person in the hazmat suit that's that's petting them. <laughs> like ah! They leap up over the walls. And uh, start running at the uh, at uh, the government uh, the government employees here who are, are now running and scattering and screaming uh, because they were not prepared for this uh, for them to sudden the dogs to suddenly become organized uh, and uh, and begin attacking them. <laughs> so right now it is chaos. The two that are carrying you are essentially they're getting they're, they they have a dog on either side of them that's sort of attacking and they're they're jostled and they and they uh, they lose their grip on you. What would you like to do? <laughs> okay, I want to run at the uh, to the uh, the zookeeper entrance for the uh, that exhibit, and I want to try to get it open if I can. Oh, for the oh, for the same. Okay, you want to go in? Okay, I'm sort I of mean, a, let the rest out. You you're, know, you're outside the. Uh... Oh yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> You're outside the you're outside the exhibit physically itself, so you could just run around back if you want to get in. You could try to do it that way. Do you want? Well, let me ask you. So you're going to try to climb in into it and uh, and hit that same door, or are you going around back? No, I'm going around back um, okay. to the uh, the second. Uh, I'm hopping that that first. I don't know if this is like a typical zoo, but uh, when I worked at a zoo, oh. it was like the two. Uh, there's two sets of gates. And okay. then the uh, the zookeeper entrance, which is typically locked, okay. but um, well, try, I'm try gonna to, try to get try to get, get into that yeah. zookeeper entrance and just let them out. Excellent, do that. You do. Uh, okay, they have broken free of the exhibit, <laughs> and the dogs are now running wildly, rampant throughout the throughout the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> they um, bolt for freedom. <laughs> so now that I have let loose the the dogs of chaos, yes, um, you have indeed let loose the dogs of war and or chaos. <laughs> honestly, I know. I like this. Is, you know, this is I've have hit a high. You know, so I'm gonna get to the the next exhibit, whatever the next exhibit is, and do the same thing. Oh wow! Yes, yeah. They're basically it's things as you you stand resplendent above these dogs that you have freed and are running all over the place as people are like screaming and running in terror. You head over to the next exhibit. This would probably be someone name a mammal. <laughs> lions. The next We're exhibit are the lions. Uh, I'm having a very real zoo tycoon flashback where you would get a really full zoo and then delete one piece of fencing. I enjoy Zoo Tycoon. Uh, <laughs> so let's see what kind of yeah these are your uh, these are your uh, East African lions. Uh, so the type that one will normally see. They have the big fluffy manes. Um, it's actually yeah. So so you have is it normal for there to be probably just like one male and and a number of females or is that uh, or would it be more evenly matched? Do you think? Uh, I think one male and. Uh, a couple of males, okay. yeah. So, yeah there's, so there's one. So you've got the male running, uh, sort of padding around in there, uh, in the in, in it's again in his sort of rocky uh, 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 enclosure. And uh, what would you like to do? Mm. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get the uh, to get this gate open again. 
because I don't think unless unless it does it look like they could get out of their own accord if they just had a little encouragement or is this a proper zoo? <laughs> uh, oh no, this isn't a proper zoo. There's no competence in this world. Uh, they could probably they, they, these yeah these are lions. I think that if they somehow had a, a great motivation, they might be able to leap out of there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give them a motivational speech then. Um, what do you I'm tell going, these lions? I'm going to pace back and forth uh, outside that yes, fence. Braveheart and, these lions for me, would you? <laughs> <laughs> and um, they have kept you in cages. Um, uh, it is time to be free. And raise my hands high and inspire these lions. Please make your lion inspiration roll. <laughs> Oh my god! Call You're me the Beastmaster. Okay. <laughs> As the lions are, remember who you are. Yeah. So now you have uh, about half a dozen lions have now leaped up, roaring mightily, and they 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 leap up over the uh, up onto the enclosures, jump out of the outside. Thank you very much for the raid. I see that we have dinosaurs in the chat now, which is very appropriate since we have a bunch of animals uh, running around. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, now uh, so that now in addition to the uh, the African wild dogs, uh, there are now a uh, about half a dozen lions are now have have now leapt up and 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 out and they're 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 padding around. Uh, kind of, I, I feel as though that, you know, they're not terribly hungry right now per se. So they're, they're just going to kind of be loping around and people are going to be screaming and running in terror. Um, so yes, you have heightened the terror factor in this zoo. It is absolute chaos. Uh, I think it, it looks almost as, yeah, they, no one seems to be looking for you at this point <laughs> because they have lions and wild dogs to worry about. Um... Yeah, I mean this is this is working out pretty well for John, yeah. and he is thoroughly enjoying this uh, this mass liberation, and he is just gonna go right on to the next exhibit. Okay, um, let's see, uh, mammals. Okay, the next exhibit. Do 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 do. do. I think, I, I think what we're going to say is that you've done this twice already. So uh, this is like a series of dominoes falling. Uh, as more chaos ensues um, and you release more animals uh, of various types, uh, it, uh, it just is starting to look very much like you, you, you have, you're creating this, uh, uh, this, this strange island of reality in which... Uh, <laughs> The animals roam free and prey upon the humans. Um, so, uh, I, in other words, I'm not going to make you roll again. I don't think to uh, uh, for, uh, for, I, for for I for I see what you are doing, um, and um, you you basically uh, 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 dash about freeing uh, uh, freeing these things. Um, and it is at the point, it's a small zoo, I think, so there weren't that many more exhibits anyway. Uh, so you have the lions and the, the African wild dogs and the various chinchillas and what have you. This is mostly a mammal-based zoo, I think. Uh, there, are, there are gorillas hopping about um, and, uh, and monkeys. And uh, it's now very much, it's very wild kingdom in here right now. <laughs> As they... <laughs> As, uh, Snoopy would be pleased. I think I think Snoopy would as as everyone is just sort of dashing about in terror. Um, so so uh, the, the, you you have, uh, but it is it is starting to get possibly a little dangerous uh, as we're getting into uh, as we're getting into late afternoon. Um, the uh, as uh, it's. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you open basically the last, you open the last con, uh, uh, area of confinement. And uh, what would you like to do next? <laughs> um, once I have created this perfect kingdom of freedom and um, chaos, um, 
I assume that in this, in their rush to escape or do anything, that there have been some purses dropped, some other belongings. There have. There have been a number of those things, uh, purses and uh, mostly purses, but then a few, uh, a few wallets, things like that. Uh, uh, um, you know, some people were balloons have been released. Uh, uh, you know, cotton candy has been dropped. Uh, all manner of, of such personal emergencies have occurred. All right. Well, I am. I am now king of the animals. I have no need for currency. Um, John is going to go straight for. Um, he targets purses in particular. Mm -hmm. um and starts rifling through to see if he can find um he's looking for something specific but he's gonna he's gonna go looking for stuff as he Um, can find it all right i need you to make a uh a a purse acquisition role as this is there is a rather specific thing you're hunting for ah no um so as you're just sort of looking around collect you're trying to collect these the you know looking at these purses and most of these have very little. Uh, they've they've only got cash in them. That's about it. Just you know. Um, and uh, now it is time for uh, for a bid for control. <laughs> okay, everyone, roll off, please. Okay, Levi, you're holding a purse. And the entire contents of the zoo are swarming around you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to um, clo- close up the purse and like, just grab whatever purse or wallet or whatever I can as I try to... Yeah, there's a small pile on, on, of them on the ground in front of you for some reason. <laughs> as though someone were rifling through them, looking for a specific thing. <laughs> All right. And then I'm just going to, um, yeah, just like fill my arms with purses, grab like a fist and grab like a couple of walls on the ground and just like run through the zoo. Where are you headed? Uh, like I was earlier in the parking lot. Okay. Run for the parking lot. Purses in, in arms. Um, oh uh, no. I have to wonder. Well, yeah. Ah, oh, beans. So, you're going to get cornered uh, by a couple by of what? large, uh, by, uh, by a, uh, a wild dog and a, uh, and, and a large cat. Um, they're just sort of like, there's one, there, there's like, uh, you know, they get into the sort of alley in the zoo just near the entrance. You can see the entrance from here, but there's, there's a lion, there's a lioness in the way, and behind you is a... Uh, it's one of those Af- African wild dogs, and they're like, nah, 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 nah. Uh, and uh, once again, we're bidding for control. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone roll off, please. <laughs> I boycott roll 20. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Eric. Okay, Brittany, you're in you're in control again. <laughs> all right. Um. So with all of these, um, and not you, the actual animal is now yelling at me. Um. Oh, with all of these, uh, these angry animals, uh, John is again going to try to ASMR them into submission. Um. With a shh, 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 Okay, yeah, that that just makes your your animal your animal ASMR roll. Uh, so they're like, the so the lioness just sort of, sort of, sort of crouches down, puts her. Puts her, puts her, puts her chin on top of her paws, and uh, the dog kind of, uh, sort of comes up and heels behind you. Yes, my children. Um, you know, maybe getting out of the zoo would be a good idea at this point. Um, so John is going to start looking for an exit. Um, yeah, you're very near the exit. You're just, you, you can see it from here, the front entrance. All right, yeah. So I'm gonna gonna try to get to that uh, get to that exit. Uh, do you uh, the the uh, the dog is trying to follow you, or do you allow that? 
Do you allow oh. the dog to follow you? The dog is now my familiar, yes. Excellent, good. Just checking. Um, and uh, so you are uh, you're heading out to the exit. There are a bunch of, uh, you see there, there are st- people running to their cars uh, out here. <laughs> There's a lot of chaos. So basically, this is as they as they say in the old tomes, uh, dogs and cats living together and mass hysteria. Um, and of course, there's the the city bike rack nearby. Uh, <laughs> is my bike still um, still is my bike still? Is there still a bike there? Yeah, there it's there. There are a few bikes that are that are. Well, let me see. A bunch of folks would have been trying to escape at this point. Um, so I think I'm going to say that they are. But uh, there are a, a couple of people fighting over the last bike. <laughs> I am going. <laughs> I am going to point at the people fighting over the bike, and I am just going to say, "Go, my companion," and order my my new friend to scare them off of that last bike so that I can take it. All right, go make your make your your your, your roll, please. Oh no! <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah. The the uh, the dog just sort of seems to be uh, just sort of like lopes up to them and just sort of goes mm-hmm, and just sort of like tries to nuzzle them uh, and uh, at one of them and the other one takes the opportunity for the distraction, grabs the bike and begins biking away on it. And now it's a bid for control. <laughs> okay, everyone, roll off, please. <laughs> Okay, Brittany and Levi are rolling off. I just want to be John. <laughs> I know. Is that so wrong? <laughs> but currently, Levi is John. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag and, uh, let Bernie be John. <laughs> I know, right? That's the yeah, hashtag. Starting, I'm starting up a GoFundMe. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Free Bernie. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Okay, I'm so sorry. yes, Levi, you're... Uh, <laughs> yeah. You've got um, uh, you, you've got uh, these people running and screaming. <clears throat> the last bike is gone. Uh, people are running and still getting into their cars. Um, you're at the entrance to the park. What would you like to do? <laughs> and and you have um, you have an African wild dog with you. As if there's like any go got me thinking. If there's a uh, go cars towards the front, uh, I'll go for. Well, those like in the like staff only area, or I'm going to say those things are hilarious. So yes, there's definitely one there. Um, it's it's actually now uh, now. Well, well, my question is why would it not? It's still plugged in. Uh, so probably whoever uh, you know, the, some folks just sort of ran right past it, and mm. uh, those who didn't saw that it was still plugged in couldn't figure it out how to, how to unplug it and get it going. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're gonna if a guy won't plug it, uh, I guess I'm gonna unplug it, hop in, and peel out. Okay. Run over and you unplug it. Uh, do you know how to operate one of these things? I mean, and from normal people, it's probably pr- fairly simple to figure out. But this is this is John. Um, hmm. John. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and make a roll for me, please. All right. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this doesn't fall specifically nah. into that skill. Um, and also, Jim realized in the back of his head a while ago that he t- tallied up the points wrong for this number of skills that are on the board, but it doesn't matter. We're here now. Um, yeah. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, so you're trying to get this thing started. It looks like the battery is pretty low, uh, you think, but it's still got some juice in it. But you, you can't find the freaking on switch. And I can tell you, as someone who has uh, operated this and uh, other uh, strange equipment in the past, that uh, sometimes it's weird. Um, but it's a bid for control. Okay, everyone roll off, please. Well, Levi. Um, <laughs> Oh, there's so much rage. There's so much rage. <laughs> Why, you're so in control. Um, oh, and, gosh. Um, so it, it, as, as it happens, you know, you're sitting there and uh, you have not been able to figure out how to get this thing going. That's the only problem. 
Yeah. Um, it's unplugged. Your, your dog is sitting next to you uh, on in the uh, in the passenger seat, but uh... <laughs> uh, that's delightful. Yeah. But uh, I was like, all right, screw this, screw the smart car. I'm gonna find a real car. Dang it! All right, there are still real cars in the parking lot. Uh, there are people trying to get at them. Uh, at, at most of them. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, if there's one uh, that can be found with it within like reasonable time and um, like not um, no one around them, I'm just going to smash in the window uh, and, try, and try, like basically break into the car. Oh, excellent. Okay, yeah. There's yes. there's one sitting by itself. Um, I, th- I think it's a sedan of some kind, probably. This time it's Grand Thefts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go uh, ahead and uh, and uh, make a car smashery roll. Yeah, yeah, that's a one. That, that's a one. Um, so you basically you succeed in setting off the car alarm, and there there is uh, the and someone is now running up to you. A woman is now running up to you, uh, crying out, "That's my car!" And I need you to uh, uh, now all uh, bid for control. All right, everyone, roll off. Okay, I need uh, Brittany and Birdie to roll off. I got a six, and it's still not just good enough. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, Birdie. <laughs> Am I allowed to concede? <laughs> you may concede if you wish. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Birdie. Rule 20 has answered your prayers. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You are in control of John. Yay. What do you like to do? I'm going to use my public speaking skill to talk to this lady and say, Madam, Madam, please do settle down. It is, I, I understand your fear and concern with the, the noise that this car is making. I, however, was not trying to steal it. I can assure you of that. I was only going to borrow it because my dear lady friend, our Lord and Savior Snoopy needs to get back to his temple. His people are waiting for him. And then I'm going to use my ventriloquism to throw my voice and make it sound like it's coming from this African wild dog yes. that is with me. And he's going to say, my child, please come with us. Come with us. We will make sure that you are taken care of and loved and given all the treasures you could ever desire. All you need to do is come with us. All right. Make that roll, please. Ah! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> she, uh, she immediately, she just looks at you. She listens very, very considerately. Then immediately uh, pulls out a can of mace and sprays you with it. <laughs> <laughs> John goes down like a sack of potatoes, and just because I am a uh, I am a vile and evil person, I'm going to say he passes out, and everyone's going to regain a willpower point, <laughs> just to stretch this out as far as we possibly can. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so because <laughs> that's going to be a few minutes. But now it's time, once again, for a bid for control. <laughs> okay. Hang on just a sec. I need Brittany and Brady to roll off, please. Well then. Brady, you are in control. My, so my you, luck is turned around. So you wake up as <laughs> this... Uh, as uh, there's there's a lot of chaos ensuing, uh, you uh, to to see flashing lights as uh, you're in this parking lot in the corner of this parking lot, and police cars are pulling up, not right at you, but they're 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 pulling into the parking lot, and uh, the the uh, there is an African wild dog licking your face. <laughs> oh, my baby. Um, so I'm gonna stand up. Are the have there been any police officers that have approached or gotten out of their cars? Um, yeah, a couple there. A couple of them pulled to a halt, and they're getting, uh, you know, a few of them are getting out and gotten in, and one of them seems to be looking around, establishing a perimeter. Okay, uh, I am going to uh, kind of, oh, you know, cle- like clean out my eyes and stand up and say, 
good people of the police force. Please, I have a story to tell. Come to me. And I'm going to wait for them to like look at me like I'm crazy and gather around a little bit. And I'm going to say, I know that this, this poor woman is very, very upset. And she may have told you a story that I <laughs> tried to get into her car. And I can assure you that is not what happened. Let me explain to you what occurred. That's because she tried to get into my car. <laughs> No, my dear, my dear, wonderful, wonderful <laughs> lady. I know that's what you think, but you miss saw, I promise. Let me explain. There was an evil man and he attempted to get into your car. And me and my wonderful companion, the good Lord Snoopy, who I can tell you all about in a moment, saw this man. <laughs> into the car and Snoopy being a benevolent god that he is scared away the man and the man bumped into the car and it set off the alarm and and she came upon us thinking it was us but it was not we simply scared the man away that's okay. all make your public speaking hold yes yes success <laughs> 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 And they're just sort of looking at it like, yeah, it seems legit. Yeah, no, that's, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. I know. All right, sir, yes. Um, you probably should, uh, all right, do you need do you need medical attention or anything? It looks like you, you took a bit of a hit there. Got no, there. no, the good Lord Scruffy, Scruffy, I, that's my old dog. The good Lord Snoopy. <laughs> the good Lord Snoopy will heal me, will heal me. He has healing properties, watch. And then I'm going to lean down to let him, Lick me in the face. <laughs> I'm going to come back up and say, Have you heard the word of the good Lord Snoopy, our one and only Lord and Savior? Uh, no. He no, is the that, light. That's, that's okay. Um, he is so wonderful. Listen, listen, I, I know you probably don't believe me, but I can prove it. And then I'm going to throw my voice and make it sound like it's coming from Snoopy, my my companion. Of course. <laughs> and he's going to say, he's going to say, children, my children, thank you so much for protecting us as I have protected you for all these years. Come with us. Come to the temple where we may... Uh, bow down, or you can bow down. I'm gonna stand up. You may bow down to worship me as I bathe you in goodness and light. So um, please make a bathing them in goodness and light roll or public speaking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they they I look at roll. each other. <laughs> They're like, my God, it all makes sense. It makes so much sense. I understand now. <laughs> oh, it's so great. The All path right, of Snoopy so... is the true path. I I uh, can and I want them I want them to take us uh to the temple in a police car. <laughs> so here's the thing. Uh when you hit an object and I, I, I again my apologies for not being as on this rule. Uh, oh. When you hit one of your objectives, that is when it is time to roll for control again, or to ah, roll for okay. control again. Uh, but they will, they will take you. Uh, yes. They, they will, they will. Uh, you know, so you can give them an address first if you so desire, and uh, they they will they will take you in their in 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 one of their police vehicles to that address. One two seven Dogwood Lane, please. Dogwood Lane, of course it is. Uh, how okay. Many, how, how many of them were there? Um, there were about. Um, I want to say, uh, there, there were, so there's the woman and then there are like, uh, and there, there were like two cops. Yes. This is so great. Uh, <laughs> that's a cult. <laughs> okay. So yeah, they're going to take you. Um, go ahead, go ahead and bid for control, please. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Brittany, 
so you uh, you're in a police car, but you're um yeah, I think you so so you you are in the back of the police car because there were two cops in it. Um, unless wait a minute, uh, so uh, Brady, did you call a shotgun? <laughs> Uh, no, actually, I let Snoopy have the passenger. You let Snoopy have. Okay, yes. Yeah. So there, you're. Uh, so, uh, uh, Brittany, you're you're in the uh, the back of a police car with another cop, and uh, a, uh, uh, a a a a lithe woman uh, who is uh, who is very you know just sort of so sort of looking looking woman who seems very whose demeanor seems refined according to this NPC card, um, and. Um, <laughs> Uh, and you know they all—they're all looking. At, you know they're—they're they're kind of looking at you expectantly, um, and just just sort of sort of nodding. And you're being driven somewhere. What do you want to do? <laughs> the dog's in the front seat next to the cop driver. As it sh as it should be. Yes, that's right. Um. Who boy? Okay. Um. So John is going to. Uh sort of at large ask all of the all of the cops sharing this this ride with him say um does anybody have any lipstick uh so the uh the woman <laughs> looks over oh yes yes i do would did, did, would you like some yes please yes of course it's the least i can do um and she hands you her lipstick which looks like it's got kind of um and it's a sort of an orange flame color. Nice. So um, John's going to apply the lipstick and pocket it. Excellent. You have achieved another of your objectives. It is time once again uh, for a bid for control. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody roll off, please. Uh, Levi. Uh, you are, uh, being driven in this vehicle, um, to, uh, Dogwood Lane, um, which I am assuming is somewhere in the suburbs, I don't know, um. Sounds, sounds suburban. <laughs> sounds suburban. Uh, so you're being driven to this house, um, mm. in the, in the suburbs, it looks like. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, that's gonna be... Snoopy has turned on us. Oh gosh. Uh, look. <laughs> uh, just be like, look. Uh, this. This is really necessary. I think we can just. Uh, it, these close enough into this part of town that we could just walk there. If that is okay with you, officers and madam. Um. Oh, certainly. Whatever you wish. Yes. And then I'm just going to stand outside the car and wait for them all to get out. Yeah, they, 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 they you know, they'll stop. They'll, they'll, they'll get out, you know. So, uh, once they are all out, and uh, I'm going to, as quick as I can, get into the police car with uh, our familiar, then peel away. <laughs> so they're getting out and sort of helping, and then... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so yes, uh, you uh, immediately peel off, and they're like, just leave them standing there. They're like, uh, and they're sort of a couple of them are waving. To you. Where would you like to go? Uh, oh gosh, I don't, I don't even know where. I think, I think we we do go to uh, 127 Dogwood Lane. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to find out what's there. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so you, yeah. uh, you pull up. Yeah, okay, no, this is, there's got to be a reason you gave that address, and I, I think I've just figured out perhaps what it is, even if it wasn't something you were consciously aware of at the time. Uh, it's at the end of the block. Uh, this sort of brick house uh, standing alone by it uh, on, on, on a little bit of a hill. Um, 
Looks almost bunker-like. And that's 127 Dogwood Lane. Uh, yeah, I think I, uh, knock on the door and, uh, ask to come in. You knock on the door, um, and you see it is opened, uh, by, um, a, uh, is opened by a man, uh, sort of big beefy guy in dark clothing, who sort of looks at you, John. Yes. Well, it took you long enough. Do you have it? Do I have it? Yeah. Wait. Oh, okay. They took it from yeah. You. It was. I'm sorry. It was taken from me. Come in. Come in. You better. You better talk to Mr. O. Uh, I then I come in, and yeah. And the, the, as, they, as they do, they, the the the, uh, the dog tries to pad in after you, and they're like, "Ah, what what the hell? What the hell is this, John?" <laughs> <laughs> that is my compatriot. He is a now that I have acquired on uh, on the uh, the way here. Okay, I'll I'll put him I'll put him in the kitchen or something. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. Um, they close the door behind you. You are led. <laughs> If there's a spare beef or anything, please feel free to let me have it. Uh, so you're led into a into a kind of a uh, study like room, um, with uh, by by a couple of more uh, black suited individuals, uh, to a person sitting and uh, there's a person there's a person sitting in a swivel chair behind the desk, uh, who then immediately swivels around, and uh, you see it's an older gentleman. Um. And he looks, uh, and he just kind of has a shock of uh, nearly white hair, even though he's not quite old enough to, to uh, he's not elderly, but you know, um, just stands up. He's wearing, wearing you an expensive tailored suit. John. John. Yes. We talked about this. They t- we talked about the importance of this item. And we talked about your sale of that item to us to keep it out of the wrong hands. And what did you do? You surrendered it to the authorities, I heard. A little debacle at the zoo. This is the situation that had, at that point, spiraled greatly out of my control. Did it? Yes. You realize that... Now that the authorities have that, and they're going to that, they're not go, that they have. This is going to prevent us from achieving our goals. I don't like it when we don't achieve our goals, John. I don't like that at all. And he was reaching. He's opening his desk and he's reaching in. Probably to, and he's pulling out an object that looks very much like a gun. Give me one reason why I shouldn't end you right now. It's simple. I can get it back. I need a few men. Some proper equipment. Okay, make a... The authorities weren't too tough. Make a convincing the mob boss roll, please. All right. Oh, Almost. you don't seem to have that skill, so... Um, <laughs> nope. It is time once again to bid for control. <laughs> and we are... Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come pretty close here. Um, one moment, please. Stand by. Dee-dee-dee-dee-dee. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here. I'm just going to scroll back real quick because I got to check something. Yeah.
Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, everyone, roll off, please. All right. So we are we are nearing the end of our time here. Uh, I won't put a bullet in you ex in, in, entirely right now, but let's see here. <laughs> We've got one and one on willpower. Um, <laughs> let's see. He uh, he does not seem convinced, uh, and so he's like he's just sort of looking at you. Know, just sort of shakes his head and says, "I don't uh, I don't know if you." I don't know if we can trust you to do that, but since you're our person on the inside, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm am gonna give you one chance. I'm gonna send Andy and Mara with you, and they will they will supervise you getting this back. Understood. And you see that uh, he, he whispers something in someone's ear. And they start to escort you uh, out back out of the house. Uh, all right. I think it's probably still at the zoo. So just need to take, take the car back there. And then... Uh, I uh, invite Andy, Morrow, and Snoopy into, into the car. Into the, invite them all into the car. So you yes. are so you are out. You're getting into the car. Um, when at this point, uh, you uh, uh, you hear police sirens, <laughs> and uh, you see uh, you see there are a couple of police cars tearing down the street, trying to form a, and, uh, and you know, starting to form a barricade because it seems as though they they may have just uh, 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 tripped to the fact that these things are here, so th th that uh, this uh, these people are here in this place, um, <coughs> and so uh, they are car they are distracted as they are escorting you to the vehicle as you're you're preparing to get into the car. Uh, what do you want to do? I think. Um... I tell them I'll pile in quick and then uh, try and, oh gosh, I'm going to floor it and try to break through the barricade. All right. Let's do it. Make your, uh, make your roll of drivery. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> well, the good news is you're going to hit the barricade. We're going to die. <laughs> you hit that target just like you wanted. Um... And, uh, yeah, so it is, uh, it is five till. So I believe this is where a large, uh, a, a large, the car goes up in a ball of flames, <laughs> consuming, uh, consuming the, uh, the four of you and, uh, and, uh, like, uh, and, and about uh, the same number of police. Thank you for playing Everyone is John. <laughs> Everyone was John. Everyone was <laughs> yeah. indeed John. I swear, in that moment, we were all John. <laughs> yes, in that moment, were we not all John? Everyone now, is John and everything hurts. As we tally this up, three, four, um, I am, by my count, based on the order of obsessions in which you gave them, uh, so, uh, Brittany succeeded at two obsessions uh collecting bitchin lipstick and liberate all animals from a zoo uh you had that was your number one and number three obsessions so that gives you a total of four points uh levi uh did straight up petty theft which was his his number three obsession so that gave him three points and uh birdie accomplished all three of her goals <laughs> Even with all those terrible rolls. <laughs> yeah. One of them was accomplished for you while you weren't even I there. Know. I know. It's true. I um, I want to say uh, thank you for acquiring a dog for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That was uh, so. Yeah, you have a total of six points. So uh, Bernie nice. is the winner in this yeah. very strange uh, game show that we have played here. <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> uh, this is great. I oh thank you all God. very much for playing. <laughs> this was what delightful. A wild romp. Um, we're going to go around now and uh, sort of the opposite direction and uh, for you to say uh, it, uh, where folks can find you online. And if you have any final thoughts about the game, uh, feel free to express them. Uh, and uh, we will start uh, with Birdie. Ah, hi, I'm Birdie, a.k.a. The Birdie Source. Uh, you can find me everywhere on the Internet at the birdie source and including here on twitch where i'm a variety streamer um on thursday nights i'm on encounter role play uh, deck of many worlds the viewer game so check me out there and i'm also playing with the uh the heroes of awesome on twitch.tv slash weirdling starting back up june 9th july 9th uh with the heroes of awesome dominion of esland so uh that's what i got going on and this game was insane and i loved it every second of it even the terrible rules and i cannot wait to um run my own session now like i am i'm dying to play more <laughs> oh, that was awesome. so thanks for having me very cool very cool thank you so much for coming i really appreciate it. that that was great i i loved the cult of snoopy it was delightful <laughs> <laughs> that was glorious yep um very let good. us move on to levi uh this was uh just as bonkers as the game let me to believe it to be. And that's amazing. Uh, yeah, th this was a, this was a good time. Uh, the Cultus to be was also a personal highlight. Went through a huge uh, peanuts phase when I was like, tw like less than like 11 to 12. So yeah, that was again. <laughs> and yeah, this was great. I'm uh, Levi, Levi597 on Twitter. Uh, Tuesday is Masks Playing Ob Obsolescence on twitch.tv slash Katie Faze. And everything's fine. If yeah, you want to see, see us play uh, a, a group of sad, teen, sad angsty teens who happen to be superheroes, feel free to check that out. I love that game very dearly. Uh, Wednesday, I'm, I will be on twitch.tv slash Capricorn Cross, uh, where we will go into battle alongside Samurai to rescue an elite group of secretive rangers from a witch. If you don't think that's cool, you're wrong. And that's all I've got uh, permanently, like regularly and uh, set in stone right now. Very cool, very cool, awesome. Thank you very much for coming in and playing. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that very great. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, we, we, we needed a third and Levi leapt in and that was very, very, very good of him. Um, and uh, so now let us move on to Brittany. Uh, my name is Brittany. You can find me on uh, Twitter and Twitch as uh, Casual Halfling. Um, this was a, a wild ride. Thank our, our Lord and Savior Snoopy um, for, uh, for every second of it. Um, you can uh, see my, uh, uh, my stream schedule on Twitter starting in July. I will be a part of the... Uh, a stream campaign set in Robin Caulfield's Viturium setting, which I am very excited for. Um, so you can find me there. Yay! Excellent, excellent. Well then, um, as for me, uh, th now this was delightful. I'm very glad. I, I'm, I'm so glad I also get to run this again in a week, hopefully. Um, this was really cool. Uh, once again, I'm Jim Ryan. You can find me at OtherDoc on Twitch and Twitter. My website is jimyesthatjim.com, where you can find my Geek Observation podcast and links to my various other podcasts, audio dramas, writings, and such. I've got links down below to my website, Twitter, YouTube channel, and the most recent, recent short story that I've released. Um, uh, tomorrow, Monday, um, if all is well, I am running a. I am going to continue running a short campaign of inspectors over on Katie's channel, Katie Face, K-A-T-Y-F-A-I-S-E. Um, and... Uh, that's uh, that's maybe we can actually finally get our first mission out, and uh, that'll be really cool. Um, and uh, hopefully, provided we're able to get uh, the players together, uh, I'm going to be trying to start our uh, monthly campaign. We do short monthly campaigns here um, on Thursday nights. Uh, we're going. I'm going to be facilitating Durance, which is a game by Jason Morningstar, same fellow who wrote uh, who wrote Fiasco. Uh, it's about a, a drama on, of control on a distant prison planet 
It's a sci-fi thing, and I, it's going to be a deep character drama. I am really hoping we can do this as a thing for multiple sessions because I want to. I want to play with some of the mechanics I didn't get to play with last time. Um, so I think it could be really cool. Um, on Friday afternoon, Saturday, and Sunday mornings, I play video games here. Um, and uh, one week from today, we shall, with any luck, have another episode of Everyone Is John, uh, and uh, we shall have we shall have more Johns come in and. Uh, do who knows what? Who knows where? I certainly don't. Uh, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Um, Sign-ups are... Fake, I'm, please fake Snoopy into that story. <laughs> I think the cult of Snoopy is vitally important now to the fabric of this universe. <laughs> and all universes. Indeed. <laughs> well... Uh, Sign-ups are currently open uh, for pretty much everything that I've got going on uh, for the most part this month, as far as at least one-shots and the short campaign are concerned. Still just uh, really mostly need folks for Durance and, and uh, next week's game of Everyone is John. Those are the biggies. Um, and so if you, go, if you click on the, uh, the link down below to game sign-up, to, to, for sign-ups, uh, that'll take you to my website where you can uh, go and sign up for the various things. And there's uh, always more information about each of those things at, on the sign-up page. Well, uh, when I go to the end card, uh, I'm going to send a raid over to um, uh, Catherine Lynn, actually. Uh, this is someone that I that, uh, met recently getting to play on um, uh, over on uh, Anarasis' channel. Um, we got to play in a game of, uh, of uh, The Fall of Magic together, um, and uh, she is currently playing, looks like, Final Fantasy, I can't remember the Roman numerals, 14, uh, <laughs> it looks like. Uh, so we're just going to if you, uh, hop over and say hello, so feel free to tag along if you so desire, and say hi. Um, but in the meantime, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you all of a sudden. Farewell.